Induracin, also known as niacin, is a form of vitamin B3 that is used to prevent and treat niacin deficiency, also known as pellagra. Niacin deficiency can result from certain medical conditions, poor diet, or long-term use of certain medications. Symptoms of niacin deficiency can include diarrhea, confusion, tongue redness and swelling, and peeling red skin. Niacin is essential for the body's metabolism and helps support the body's ability to make and break down natural compounds needed for good health. It is important to note that niacinamide, which is a different form of vitamin B3, does not work the same way as niacin. It is crucial to always check the ingredients on the label of any medication, even if you have used the product before, as the manufacturer may have changed the ingredients. Additionally, products with similar names may contain different ingredients meant for different purposes, so it is important to take the correct product as directed by your doctor. When taking Enduracin, it's important to follow your doctor's directions. Typically, you'll take it one to three times a day with a low-fat meal or snack. Swallow the extended release capsules whole, and do not crush or chew them. To reduce side effects like flushing, avoid alcohol, hot beverages, and spicy foods when taking Enduracin. Your doctor may also recommend taking a plain aspirin or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug 30 minutes before taking Enduracin to help prevent flushing. If you take other medications to lower cholesterol, make sure to take them at least 4 to 6 hours before or after taking Enduracin to avoid interactions. Your dosage will be based on your medical condition and response to treatment, and your doctor may start you on a low dose and gradually increase it. It's important to take Enduracin regularly at the same time each day to get the most benefit from it. And remember to follow your doctor's advice about diet and exercise. If your condition gets worse or you think you may have a serious medical problem, seek medical help right away. Some common side effects of Enduracin include flushing, warmth, headache, itching, sweating, chills, and tingling. These effects should improve as your body adjusts to the medication. You may also experience stomach upset, heartburn, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. If any of these effects persist or worsen, contact your doctor or pharmacist. To reduce the risk of dizziness, get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position, especially if you are also taking medication to lower your blood pressure. Remember, the benefits of this medication outweigh the risk of side effects for most people. However, contact your doctor immediately if you experience serious side effects such as persistent nausea or vomiting, fast or irregular heartbeat, severe headache, joint pain, swelling of legs or arms, vision problems, severe abdominal pain, black stools, easy bruising or bleeding, unexplained muscle pain, changes in urine, dark urine, vomit that looks like coffee grounds, or yellowing of the eyes or skin. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help right away if you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or difficulty breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other unusual effects. Before taking Enduracin, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you are allergic to niacin or any other allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. It's important to consult your pharmacist for more details. If you have low blood pressure, a history of bleeding problems, heart disease, kidney disease, liver disease, or other health issues, it's essential to consult your doctor or pharmacist before using this medication. Enduracin may cause dizziness, especially when combined with alcohol or marijuana. It's important to avoid driving or using machinery until you can do so safely. Limiting alcoholic beverages is also recommended. If you have diabetes, this medication may rarely raise your blood sugar levels. It's important to monitor your blood sugar regularly and inform your doctor of any changes. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, make sure to discuss the risks and benefits of using Enduracin with your doctor. It's important to be aware of how Enduracin may interact with other drugs you are currently taking. This could impact how your medications work and increase the risk of serious side effects. Be sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's crucial to not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Additionally, be sure to check all prescription and non-prescription medicine labels carefully, as vitamins and dietary supplements may also contain niacin or niacinamide.
Taking these with enduracin may increase the risk of side effects, so it's important to ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details. Furthermore, enduracin may interfere with certain lab tests, potentially causing false results. It's important to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are using this medication. If you suspect an overdose or experience serious symptoms such as passing out or trouble breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can reach out to a provincial poison control center. If you are taking enduracin for high cholesterol, it's important to also focus on eating a proper diet, exercising, losing weight if needed, and quitting smoking to help the medication work better. Remember to get your vitamins and minerals from food whenever possible, and eat more meat, fish, poultry, enriched slash whole grain bread products, and fortified cereals to increase the amount of niacin in your diet if you have a niacin deficiency. There are many niacin products available, some of which can be purchased without a prescription. It's best to consult your doctor or pharmacist to determine the best product for you. Your doctor may also recommend lab tests to monitor your blood lipids, blood sugar, liver function, and uric acid levels while taking enduracin. Be sure to keep all medical and lab appointments and not to share this medication with others. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing enduracin, make sure to keep it at room temperature and away from moisture and light. Avoid storing it in the bathroom and refer to the storage information on the package. If you have any questions about storage, it's best to ask your pharmacist for guidance. Keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to discarding enduracin, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly dispose of the product and it is expired or no longer needed. It's best to consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.